Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how we can make our search apps more secure using Reactive Search API. Now, if you have been using Reactive Search for building the search experiences on top of Elasticsearch, then you must know that Reactive Search defaults to query generation on client side. Let's have a quick look at what this means. So I have a code sandbox where I am using an AWS Elasticsearch reactive search to build my search experience now when i query something over here let's say test then as you can see a m search query is made which is nothing but an elastic search query and if you check the request it's uh, same as what elastic search would expect this is really convenient for reactive search because it can work with multiple elastic search sources like AWS, Elastic Cloud, uh, Open Distro, or any other uh, cloud solutions available for Elasticsearch. But there is a security loophole here. That is, a person who knows Elasticsearch queries well can perform script injection over here. To solve this, we have introduced a reactive search API, which is a declarative API. And it basically uses the prop declaration mentioned over here as its request body and performs the query generation in backend rather than in frontend. This will help us in adding one more layer of abstraction and not exposing the database to frontend. Reactive Search API is available uh, on top of AppBase uh, products, that is AppBase cluster or uh, AppBase bring your own cluster services. Now there is also a method where you can host AppBase on, on your cloud using the self-hosted AppBase uh, solutions which are mentioned over here. I will add a link to this docs. But for the demo purpose what I have done is I have created a bring your own cluster uh, using AppBase cloud where I can mention my AWS Elasticsearch URL and create a cluster which is hosted on AppBase cloud. So this is a bring your own cluster which uses the same AWS uh, Elasticsearch URL that we have in this application. And now I can access all the AppBase.io services on top of this Elasticsearch as AppBase.io acts as a reverse proxy to Elasticsearch over here. Now you can also turn off the public access for this particular AWS Elasticsearch and just whitelist this IP on your AWS console. Once your cluster is ready, you, you will get this AppBase URL which you can copy and replace it over here. And still your search should work as it is. As you can see the M search queries are made and if I test this search then also it works. That is great. Now to enable reactive search API which is a layer of abstraction on top of this uh, queries all you have to do is enable app base in your reactive base uh, component. Now, instead of making M search request, this will make a reactive search request. And if you check the request body, it is quite similar to the prop declaration that you have over here for your data search. So this is how it abstracts the query generation process in the backend instead of uh, doing it from the front end. Now to secure this further, what I will do is I will uh, create a API credential by going into this explore cluster. I will navigate to access control API credentials. I will create an API credentials which has only access to reactive search and um, not any other APIs. Now let me copy this and use it in our application instead of this credentials I will try to use the new credentials that we have and as you can see the search still works with uh, reactive search v3 and the queries are made and we get the result but now if I just disable this app base uh, prop then as you can see the m search queries are throwing 401 which means even though user knows how to script inject uh, they won't be able to uh, 
do any further actions using this particular credentials and your application is only exposing this credentials so uh, you have one more layer of security now so that's all for this video i will add links to the docs in the description of this video and also will link the video for the api credentials thank you